person married into your family. Look it up. Once again, the Irish were not allowed to own slaves. The Irish was like the lowest of the low. It's the Irish of this country that created the first ghettos. It's also the Irish of this country that killed the mayor of New York because they refused to fight the Civil War. Hey, listen to me, Saints. Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, we're not going to fight. For the South, when we're not even free up here. Hey, listen to me. But, Saints, when I went to Moody's Investment Company, they gave me a promise. You did. I believe at Moody's, I was making like maybe 70. They gave me a promise that if I did well, they would allow me to go up and become a trader. That's how I wanted to manage funds. And my degree, my degrees are in finance and economics. But the fierceness of my skill in my master was in system management, building computer systems. So anyway, make a long story short, then I was told, I'm going to say I want you to learn, I was told that if I would just do average and above, they would let me go upstairs. So, Holly, I was all ready. I couldn't wait, you know. So when I came up for my review, I remember my boss, his name was Mike Mazzarella. I'll never forget that, Mike Mazzarella. He called me to his office. He said, hey, Tim, I want you to know you, you did real good. You did real good. He said, you did real good. You did real good. He said, I'm real pleased with you. I'm going to give you a raise. You listen to me, say, I did real good. He's going to give you a raise. But he said, I did below average. Because you did below average, we can't let you go upstairs. I remember very vividly, I took my bag, I laid it on his desk, and I told him I have never done anything average or below average in my life. And I'm not going to allow you to tell me now. Being 25 years old, 26, 27, I'm not going to allow you to tell me that I've done a below average job. He said, no, no, calm down. No, I'm not saying that. You can't pay me enough to make me believe that. Amen. There is no way, hallelujah, that you are going to tell me that you are going to give me a raise. Why don't you just tell me that I'm one of the ends of things? But you are not going to tell me that you're going to give me a raise, that you see a future here for me, but I can't go upstairs. No, you're going to keep this job. And I left. I left because I refused to allow someone to redefine me. After I already had a proven fruits. I needed you to listen to me. The only thing that can come, overcome, you feeling inferior. Or you feeling as if you are a failure is your faith. But your faith must produce a new result. Some of you, you suffer from the IFF factor because you're constantly being reminded of your failure, your failure, your failure, and you are going to fail again. No, I'm not. Amen. And you prove that by what you achieve. What you achieve. Holly, we've had people in this ministry labeled slow learners. And I remember that when I used to go to school before Carl and Uzi. Holly, because they said, you know, he can't read. Come on, Sasha, I need someone to listen. Holly, are you saying you listen? We defeated all of that. Amen. We defeated all of that. We defeated all of that because you refuse to be labeled like that. When we say we walk in the boldness and the strength of Christ, you only will change people's opinion about you when you achieve something greater than that. Are you listening to me? Holly, you know, um, when we were in prison yesterday, outlaw, 
Hallelujah. He's one of the people in charge of recreation. He plays volleyball with us. Very big brother. Seven degree black belt. Has the free dosing. And you know, he began to, he was talking with me. He said, you know, years ago we had a harder time in prison. He said, because years ago, people in prison were fighters. He said, we don't have fighters now. We have trigger men. It's a difference. He says, fighters, they don't have to fight. He says, here, we might have five people who can fight. The rest of them, they're just trigger men. So they will never get into a confrontation with the officer or other prisoners because the only thing they know how to do is call a trigger. They don't have a gun. They can't. So they find themselves with the prison system and they must get along because they can't fight. Say, you listen? Amen. They can't fight. So they've got to get along. So he says, we have a greater peace now in prison because people no longer learning how to fight because they're looking for a quick and easy way out. I thought that was deep. In other words, we said, look, y'all say it. <laughs> you can listen to that. Right? But it's the mentality that's been instilled. What are you fighting today? What are you coming up against today? How have you been labeled and who labeled you? I want to say it again. How have you been labeled and who labeled you? If you suffer from an insecurity, you only suffer from an insecurity because you believe in it. Listen to this. Doubt gives us confirmation of our fear. Doubt gives us confirmation of our fears. I refuse to doubt because the doubt would only confirm what I fear and doubt will keep me back from achieving. Yes. And achievement is the only way out. Achievement is the only way out from being suffering from an inferior complex frustration or failure. If you want to defeat failure, you've got to be ready to achieve. Are you with me, saying? The IFF factor produces death. It produ produces death because eventually you quit and you, you stop trying. Quitting is a choice. Achieving is a choice. Listen, is the word achievement. The word achievement means the act of achieving. A result gained by effort. Saints, if you want to achieve, you must exert the right effort. But if you're suffering from the IFF factor, you will not put forth your best effort. A lot of you, you've cut your own self off. A lot of you, you've become your own worst enemy. You've allowed your mind not to work for you, but you've allowed your mind to work against you. And your mind is always confirming what you cannot do, what you cannot achieve. Yes. And before you